Hello, my name's Harjot and I'm an assistant psychologist from the maternal mental health team. I'm going to introduce creating a sanctuary today. The sanctuary is a powerful strategy for healing our grief without feeling overwhelmed. It has been adapted from a type of therapy called acceptance and commitment therapy for loss and looks at creating a safe place to grieve. Its aim is to create a sacred space that gently holds us as we turn within and holds us as we move through the stages of grief. It enables us to honour our grief for a limited time each day amid our busy lives. Rather than feeling overwhelmed, those who use the sanctuary find that they have much more focus and energy for their work, friends and families. I'm now going to talk you through creating your own sanctuary. Select a physical space in your home. It can be a nook like a closet or a piece of furniture like a bench in your garden. The key is that the place must be solely devoted to being a sanctuary. Be creative. Let it be a space that inspires, comforts and nurtures you in your grief. If you find you don't feel at ease in a location, move the sanctuary to another space. Most people need to try out different places until they settle on one that works. For example, you might not feel comfortable in a small enclosed room. You might choose instead of a sheltered corner of your garden as a sanctuary. It's important that you will not be interrupted and are away from the demands and distractions of your daily life. The sanctuary is a refuge dedicated to your healing and peace of mind. As you enter the sanctuary each day, make sure that you won't be disturbed. Put a note on your door and turn off your phone. You are now entering a sacred space of grieving. Think of the sanctuary as a cocoon that holds and protects you whilst your vulnerable state of transformation and change happens. After finding the place for your sanctuary, Create a specific area that you can focus on when you sit in the sanctuary. Think of this as a small personal altar that honours your grief. Arrange pictures, flowers, stones, shells, jewellery, candles, fabric or even small statues or whatever you feel connects you to your loss. Feel free to rearrange your altar regularly. You might find that what you want in your sanctuary changes as you move through your grief. Once you have your sanctuary arranged, set a regular time for using it daily. Experiment with this until you find a time of day that works best for you. The important thing is to use it daily so there is a rhythm of turning within, then returning to your daily life. If you feel anxious about using the sanctuary, Start with 10 minutes or less. Shorter, more focused times in the sanctuary may work better than longer periods, which might overwhelm you emotionally, at least at first. But ultimately, however long you practice, the key is to turn your attention within and deepen into whatever is taking place inside you during that session. It is the depth we access when we grieve that heals, not the length of time in the sanctuary. When in the sanctuary, sit down, take a couple of deep breaths, soften your belly and settle into your sanctuary. Take a few moments to let your eyes pass over pictures and objects you have placed on your altar. As your eyes linger there, let the reality sink in that your loss has occurred and it will take time to fully absorb this. If you are dealing with multiple losses, the fear of being overwhelmed is magnified. Dedicate each session in the sanctuary to one loss. Put out pictures and objects related to the loss you are focusing on that day. Stay with each loss for as long as it takes to feel some inner shift or healing. Then turn to the next loss. Remember, 
This is a process and will take time. Invite compassion and acceptance into yourself whilst you grieve. And remember, there is no right way or right amount of time you will take. Now I invite you to take a moment to bring yourself back into the room. Now you have listened to how to create a sanctuary, take some time to think about how you will try it. Feel free to experiment with it and think about what works for you. Remember, the sanctuary is a space just for you and there are no rules. I hope this exercise helps you on your grief journey.